Okay. Well, tonight we're going to be playing Harvester. This time, hopefully, successfully. And not without uh, black screens. That would be fantastic if we could get a stream of Harvester without a black screen. I haven't streamed in a couple days. Not the shortest gap I've had between streams, but you know, it's um it's there. It's tangible. You can see it, you can taste it. Um stream after this would probably be I'm thinking I'm gonna do two things. Okay, there we go. I just had to test and see if that was gonna work. Let's just jump right into it. That should work, hopefully. That's on screen. I'm running in windowed mode now. As, if that's too loud, tell me, uh, because I'll turn it down. I noticed the audio levels were a little messed up on the Pokemon stream. The game was a little bit loud, so I would be, appreciate being told if the audio is could be using some adjustments. I want to provide a good user experience. It's a great game. I actually really like this game, and I'm glad that this time around I can show it off instead of, you know, streaming a fucking black screen. It still hurts. Harvester. Yeah. For some reason, I've gotten in my mind that these are the same people that made Night Trap, which I know isn't true. But I guess that's just the full motion video charm. Bad acting, full motion video, and allegedly very gory, even though Night Trap isn't really that bad, but whatever. It's coming to the Switch, if you didn't know. Apparently, I learned that the other night. It's Night Trap, the Sega Genesis game, is coming to the Switch. Are you going to do a nude game, or do I got a deal? Um, you don't got a deal. Um, I'm gonna do a new game, obviously. That's why I'm playing the intro. Look at that CGI. Oh yeah. This game is so, so a product of its time. And it knows it. There we are. There's Steve. I'm gonna just adjust the audio a little bit downward. There we go. That should be way better. That's about what I wear in real life. So, realism. It's an important factor in these video games. Harvester gameplay tips. You can pick your friends, and you can't pick your friend's nose. Or you can pick your friend's nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. Fuck off. Okay, that's a pretty good indication of the quality. Basketball. Shoot some hoops. Unofficial Dust Bowl basketball, autographed by GPF. I probably just got tricked into saying something funny. Is that a chair? Cheap folding chair, such as what you find at swap meets, bingo parlors, and other religious gatherings. <laughs> Whatever. I could use a chair like that. 
I'm sitting in a shitty wooden chair that makes terrible noises when I'm shipped around. Alright, let's talk to... What? Billy, or whatever his name is. Who is he? Leave me alone, Steve, or I'll tell Mom on you. Okay. Steve. Steve. Are you talking to me? Yeah, only I don't want to be, because I'm trying to watch my cowboy show. I'm sorry. Look, Whoa. I'm telling you, I need your help. Cool it, Steve. I've lost my memory. Have not. Cut it out. I'm telling you the truth. Calm Mom's down. Mom's work, Kidder Steve. Leave me alone. I'm sick. Oh, I always work, Kidder Steve. All right. So... This is what I wanted. This was uh, what I was showing off earlier. Was this? I don't. Can you see this? Let me see. Um, yeah, you can see my cursor. Okay, good. Hold on. I forgot whether or not I turned it that off. Hold on. Move that back. I'm having trouble. Oh well. Let's talk about the cowboy show while I do this. What else? Oh. Color? Oops. On a TV? Well, I... I think I've seen a color television before. No, you have not. Have not. Quit it or I'm gonna tell. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Your mother lets you watch this stuff? Sure. This is part of history. What made America great. Yeah. And besides, blood and guts are needed. I agree. You're right, that is really neat. I'm glad you're catching on, Steve. It's what America's America yeah, great. Bad. For a lousy rat. Sick. What's wrong with you? I got a headache and a stomach ache. Look at that then TV. Why aren't you in bed? Cause I Fucking huge. Cowboy show. It look all right to me. <laughs> it's gonna be like. I couldn't go to school because I'm sick. Tiny ass screen. Sick in bed too, and Mom believes me anyway. So shut up. Yep. Let's talk about the TV. There's an animation. That's a weird looking television. Come to think of it, this whole place looks totally retro. This looks like the set of fucking Agent Cooper. Sure, basically. This is one old fashioned. Old fashioned? It's brand new. Yeah, but look at the. Yeah, look at that. Where's the remote control? What's that? I. Now that I think about it, I can't remember. And what was that you said about retro rockets? No, they retro, explode it means... and they kill teachers. It means, oh man, I know what I mean. That was what it exploded on the Challenger, ball, right? Retro rockets. Or is it? Me. No, it's the boosters. Whatever. <sighs> Death traps. Cowboy show. Did Can we already talk about that? Was in black and white. What else? Oh yeah, we did. Well, I have not. Hey, look at that. Sure. What made it? Make it's America so cowboy again. Little kids shouldn't watch violence. Well, you can't stop me, so let me alone. Or else. Let me alone. Here we see the examples of good writing. <laughs> Who's mom? Mom. Mom's in the kitchen, and if you bug me, I'll call her. Okay. Look, I just. Do you know me? No. Wish I didn't, because then you wouldn't be my brother, and I'd have your room, and all the presents at Christmas. Though I will soon enough anyway, because you're a lousy rat. Look how you're fucking brother. high his no pants are pulled up. What the fuck? Listen, I, don't mean I never noticed that before. But I can't he's got a shirt tucked in, and he's got like anything. Urkel, Urkel pants. You please just tell me who you are? Mom, Steve is bugging me. Steve, leave Hank alone right now. Leave Hank alone right now. How's your rat? Why am I a rat? What did I do to you? You went and got all mushy on that girl, and now you're lighting out on me. Well, if that's the way you're going to be, then you can drop dead. Lighting out. Good. Whatever. I know. It's like a term. Well, it just means make me go away. Let me see how I play this. Hold on. Click right mouse button on mouse button wall. Uh, take object. Hold. Okay. That's going to be a pain in the ass. Okay. I got it. Boing. 
A stunning depiction of the earth made of pepper mache. Pepper mache. There's fucking Ancient Cooper herself. Well, been... Who are what you? The fuck? That's a fine way to talk to your mother. You're my mother? You're my mother? That's right. Though sometimes I get treated like the hired help around here. I don't remember you. Of course you don't. Until you need your socks mouth. washed. No, you don't understand. I can't remember where I am or even who I am. Land's sake, stop your judging. Land's won't sake. You? Honestly, Steve, I thought you'd grow up a little after graduation. I only hope that new job will plant your feet on the ground. So that's my name. Oh, wow, wow. Your name will be M U D Mud if you don't Mud. start teasing me, young man. My name's Listen, Mud. This may sound strange, but I've lost my memory. Do you believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. It's got a steel I'm rod for a spine. Sure, and next Oops. you'll be telling me you don't remember Hank and your little sister. Sister. When Oop. did I graduate? Four months ago, as if you could forget that. I never graduated. Hey, oh. A high school diploma is all you need to get a job. And besides, you can't oh. marry Stephanie if you're going to waste your time. This really is the college. 50s. <laughs> 18 years old, and you're just now getting your first job. It's a disgrace, but better late than never. God. I guess we can thank Stephanie for that. This game is hitting me hard. Job. This guy doesn't look 18. That's right, a job. Your yeah. father has everything set up at the meat plant. After your honeymoon with Stephanie, you'll start out as a butcher in the I wish I could get a job at the fucking meat plant. Else. Don't expect any favors just because you're the boss's son. Slaughterhouse. Yeah. Slaughter. That's what this game should be called. Slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse. My memory may be shaky, but I do know I don't want to spend my life as a butcher. You'll get used to it, Steve. Holy shit. Sooner or later. You'll have you'll to. You'll have to. That sounds like a threat. <laughs> Just a fact. Harvest is a small town. And if you want to be with Stephanie, you'll have to get your hands dirty. Jobs are scarce, so it's either work for your father, or join the lodge if you can. Yeah, good for exposition. Let's talk about the sister. Sister? <laughs> sister! I just put her down to sleep. If she wakes up, she'll just want to eat again. Oh, God. Darn it, I'm busy. And if you think I'm going to play along with this nonsense, you're crazier than Sparky down at the firehouse. Fine. Maybe I am crazy. I can't rule that out. Why can't you just help me a little? Is that too much to ask? <laughs> now, oh, God. Johnny, this, I forgot about this. Poor baby. There, there. Did your brother scare you? Oh, God. Brace Let yourself. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. that wasp woman. She's a monster. That's what she is. Moss woman. This is more relevant to me now that I've watched hours and hours of documentaries about killer bees. Tetsuya Crumb is going to hear about this. Tetsuya Crumb. I want you to go to her house right now and give her a piece of my mind. What a Ronald Dahl name. I don't know where she lives. I don't know where she lives. A house covered with paper nests. Steve, you tell her to mind her own beeswax or by golly, I'll take it up with the PTA. Shouldn't she see wasps wax? It's a different thing, lady. Okay. Have you have you not learned about killer bees? Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Yeah, whatever. I know all I need to know from you. I'm off to kill the wasp woman. Hold on, let me check the pantry first. Come on. Let me click on it. Okay. Sorry, I'm having mouse issues. Come on. Come on now. Okay, you're gonna let me look in there. Hold on. Cabinet that smells of dirty diapers. I'm glad we got to see that. Expertly and expertly embroidered old-fashioned wall plaque. Wall plaque. Fuck. God, kill me. Oh, I can. Can I punch mom? I never tested that. Oh no, I can't. Get close enough. Whatever. 
Look at me. Look at that mug. God bless. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. I have no use for this house anymore. Let's talk to the paper boy. Jimmy James. Hey, Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? Uh, I guess not. Hey, how come you haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning? Pizza on the roof. I got better things to do. Well, I don't, you selfish punk. How'd you expect the working Joe to make an honest living? You don't put the paper out, I'm out of a job. It's not a real job. So what? You don't get paid for picking up papers anyway. The Sentinel building burnt down. What the heck else am I supposed to do? Listen, play video games. Paper out and everything play yourself shit, some, okay? some that newfangled Pong or Space Invaders. I don't know. More there, like Astro, to be honest. Say, you got like, play hoop sneakers? and ball? No, I don't have sneakers. See you later, alligator. S fuck you, crocodile. Is that how that goes? Alright, let's kill a wasp woman. That's the one thing I did last time. Of any note besides talk to Stephanie. Come on, what are you doing? Oh. <sighs> Look at those fucking CGI wasps. No longer does this room instill fear into me. Only now does it instill curiosity. Morbid curiosity about the wasps. It's Are you the wasp woman? I am Tetsuo Crumb. The ignorant of harvest called me the wasp woman. Wasp Majority, no doubt. Woman. Born of fear and of poverty of imagination. I understand I this woman understand. now. The politics of honey. The Judeo-Christian rites of sacrifice and conventional taboos against unbridled pleasure are all responsible for the prejudice against wasps. I don't get the pleasure part. But I know that she has something interesting to say about it. You like to fuck bees? It's a great deal of pleasure. The wasp is a sensual being, not a laborer. Hedonistic instead of industrial. Some think I'm quick to anger. In truth, they are easily swayed to ecstasy. They penetrate your flesh, and the muscular contractions in their thorax as they pump venom could be likened to the muscular contractions of ejaculation. Each painful welt and act of love. Well, I have a boner now. <laughs> that maggot infested milf. <laughs> maggot infested milf pussy. Good. Good, 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 good. A triviality. Yes. Wasps. Psst, psst, psst. Wasps. The most relentless of insects. Oh god. Look! They see in logos. Yeah, well, keep them away from innocent children. Innocent children. What better way to describe the wasp? Carefree, wild, beautiful things. Tip to fuck bees. If they wish to share their love with babies, or any Whoa. of the rest of you ignorant hicks. I was on board until we talked about sharing the love with babies. Sacrifice. When a bee stings, it rips itself apart and dies for its audacity. This appears hey. to those raised worshipping a god that demands sacrifice and atonement. Well, now. But the wasp is promiscuous. Hey, I just realized she doesn't like bees. The masses. She likes these little, because awful little wasp creatures. They, sting. they live to sting another day. And they take pleasure from it. I respect the killer bee far more. Bee. A 
Yo, now you've just killed yourself. Be prepared, woman. I almost clicked the wrong thing. There we go. Good save image, by the way. I didn't get to say that last time. Alright, fuck you. Let me just maneuver myself into a position where I can punch you in the face. punch you. Come on. Come on. I did this so easy, like, one hit last time. Punch you? Okay, hold on. Oh. Oh, god damn it. I punched her too hard and skipped the cutscene. I punched her out of existence and I want to see her die. I'm sorry. I'm failing at this simple task. Come on. I gotta get into like the right spot. For punching. There we go. I fucking punched your face off. Good. Look at that. Take that, you bee hater. Alright. Let's check the oven. What's cooking? Nothing's cooking. Oh. Clicked out of the window. All right, B woman's dead. <sighs> Let's get the hell out of here before the wasps attack. All right, let's head home. God damn, that mug. Coffee stains in my pocket. In my soul. Best way to describe this game is a coffee stain on the soul. Let's talk to my mom. I told you I'm busy, Steve. Why don't you talk to Hank or go next door and visit Stephanie or go get an early start on your new job? Did you hear? Someone exterminated the wasp woman. <laughs> exterminated. Got it. Clever. Oh my. I used to you be think you're so a clever. Car. Everyone in the Glee Club thought so. Oh, I haven't lost it, have I? <sighs> you have. Can I get more information about that? I forget. Stop speaking. Whatever. Quest complete. Don't to put the Quest finished. Let us begin another quest. By going to the Potsdam residence. And speaking with my fiance. As was foretold, the meat. Look at that glistening steak. There he is, my future son in law. There and he is, he my favorite today? character. What brings him to the Pottstown household? Huh? 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 Came over to see Stephanie. Oh, you'll have to ask the missus about that. Stephanie's grounded to the wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to talk about meat. Last minute, not with all that meat at stake. Yeah, there we go. Meat at stake. Meat, meat, meat. Talk about it. Meat is the foundation of any decent society. Everyone needs at least three servings of red meat a day. 
And anyone who says otherwise is a oh, combo. Oh, say can and you your see Stephanie? by I'll the meat's early lie. And give me all the meat I want. Meat? <sighs> kind of makes up for not getting into the lodge. This fat fuck meat beating his meat couldn't get into the lodge. Why are you so anxious to get into the lodge? Yeah. There's Those damn reasons. red commies, they don't have I've enough heard. meat. All they eat is There's bread. More meat in there than they know what to do. Now that you're of age, Steve. God damn. You might go down to the post office and fill out a lodge application. They're always looking for new blood. That's where I can find meat? Hell yeah, alright. I'm done talking to you about my fiance. She's stupid, and I want to talk about meat. Let's just get this conversation over with. Hello. You look like my mom. <laughs> Honestly, you men can insult Freud, me eat your heart out. You've done it. What a horrible thing to say. You're both standing around baking cookies. Same kind of dress. Same pearls. So bizarre. There's Don't no act your heart out, baking Steve. The Harvest Charity Bake Sale is Friday, you know. And by gosh, Mrs. Marvin Potston Jr. can be counted on to do her share. Hell yeah. Um, Stephanie. Sorry, I didn't. Sorry, I didn't. Are you spoil that shit? Fuck it. Let's talk about the bake sale then. Charity bake sale. What is it supposed to benefit? Ooh. Oh, I just like talking about gruesome subjects. Yeah. When you get right down to it. All charity is pretty ugly, isn't it? I don't follow. Ask Mr. Moynihan. He organized it today. In conjunction with the lodge, naturally. Mr. Moynihan's one of my favorite characters, isn't he? Mr. Moynihan runs the Wayward Hotel and the Shady Oaks Funeral Parlor. It's rumored he has connections with the lodge. But the order keeps that kind of thing secret. Order. So Mr. Poston has tried to get him to put in a good word for his lodge application, but so far... Mm. Mr. Potsdam. You must Tell me about him. Hard on Mr. Potsdam, Steve. He's a disappointed man. Yep, no couldn't even get in the lodge. lodge admission forms he fills out, they keep turning him down. He has an Plus. application in, though, so keep <laughs> your fingers crossed. If he joins the lodge... You and Stephanie can have your wedding in the Chapel of Love, rather than over at Moynihan's place. If he... He doesn't even have... He's not in the lodge, and all he has is one television that keeps playing the theremin. And does not even playing it well. Plus, white noise. Wedding. Tell me about this wedding. Well, it's set for three weeks. We're holding it over at Shady Oaks. Mr. Moynihan's funeral parlor. Where else would you have one? Now, I know it's not a very romantic place, but there's no nothing more romantic than a funeral. Thanks to Mr. Potsdam. All right, I already talked about this now. Give my regard. But whatever. Let's just prevent it from something. Why even have it if you're gonna not go through it? Let's go upstairs. Sorry. You'll have to ask Ms. Oh, now I can ask her for permission. I'm sorry if I'm sounding a little bored. Um, I've already played through this part. Hello? Yes, please. She's upstairs. Wow, that's a lot easier than it was last Come time. On. Last time I had to go through the rigmarole. I don't want to talk to Stephanie, but I have to to continue the game. At least not right now. I'll be happy to talk to her later. Let's go in her room. There she is. I love you, darling. Who are you? What are you doing in my room? Haven't you heard? <laughs> We're getting married. <laughs> so, you're the one. <laughs> Steve, isn't it? <laughs> you mean, you don't know me? <laughs> I mean, I don't know anyone. I don't remember anything. How many times do I have to say it? Just one, Stephanie, because I can't remember a damn thing either. I can't tell if it's a MIDI that's shorting out or if it's oh doing God, that on purpose. It's me. You're not alone. 
Can you tell me what's going on here? <laughs> it's Those so fucking people good downstairs though. downstairs have locked me in my room. They say I'm grounded until the wedding. Do do do. Oh my god. Keeps going. Huh. <sighs> Those people. They claim to be my parents. My I parents. Can't it because I can't remember for sure one way or the other, but it doesn't feel right. My parents. I know what you mean. I don't belong here. No one will believe that I've got amnesia. Why? Maybe they're responsible. Either way, something really weird is going on here. I've got to escape, and so do I've you. I've got to escape. Because in a way, whether you know it or not, I think we're both grounded. Da da da. Escape. Escape. It's like the soundtrack to a really bad escape. puppet show. Don't forget that. I think you're harsh. These people are just eccentric. You haven't been locked in your room for a week. Fair enough. All right. Lo lodge. Let's talk about the lodge and leave. This seems to revolve around this damned lodge. This order of the harvest moon. They're responsible for this insane bake sale that's coming, and for the harvest. I love harvest too. moon. When people talk about the lodge, it's always in this hushed, reverent tone. Mom keeps telling me that women can't join, but she keeps pressuring me to get you to join. <laughs> She's she not looks the only so one afraid when she looked over there. The lodge. That's probably the worst thing you could do. I disagree. I love harvest moon, and I think. Trapped? I think the lodge think would be the best the option for me. Trap. That's true. As per Maybe usual. The lodge is the way out. Not giving any useful advice. The town a little. There we go. I can't get out of here, but if I could, that's what I'd do. Maybe you can figure out what's happening here without going anywhere near the lodge. Maybe. You're really afraid of the lodge, aren't you? I look at that building. All lit up at night, and I get scared. Again, we're using the same Maybe goddamn shot. The thing. Seem like a harmless bunch of masons to you? <sighs> this is 90s Harvest Moon. It's extreme to the max. Hell yeah. It's fucking the most extreme Harvest Moon. We're harvesting corpses. Come back and visit me soon, okay? This is what it would be like to like wake up in Harvest Moon Town for real. <sighs> I don't know who I am. You just gotta join your farm. Come on, Steve. Join the farm. You'll like it, Steve. I know you will. You can harvest the crops. When you get married to my daughter, we can have all the crops we want. All right. There's two more places I gotta visit to finish my recap of the failed stream last time. That is... Actually, three places, including the fire station. I gotta go to the Wayward Hotel. No. I gotta go... Where the fuck am I going? It's the... Not the TV station. Where's the funeral parlor? That's where I need to go. There we are. Shady Oaks Mortuary. I should also visit the other house that I forgot to visit. So, is it through here? Whoa. No, it's not. I don't remember going in here. Holy shit, it's fucking Haster. Is this what this game is about? Is it Haster? A hauntingly beautiful stained glass window in which a man holds a scythe in one hand and some urethral... Ure ethereal... Ure urethra... Urine... Urine power. There are people you can kill besides the wasp woman, but it's harder to get away with it. Yeah, I know. Um, I, I'm gonna occasionally punch people in the face just to see what happens. But I'd rather actually play. A saint kneels before a shepherd, jubilantly ter terrified. Oh. Pew. The imprint of a head, buttocks, and siding heels are scraped in the thick dust of the pew. 
Holy shit. Pasture was the king in yellow, that guy's clearly green. Good point. That that's actually a really good point. Lectern. Small lectern for priest. Plus this was like um Cthulhu. Actually this fits the Cthulhu build pretty well, and then I think about it. Clearly you are right, but you know, waking up with amnesia in a random town. This is pretty pretty uh thing to build. Ooh. Not for the fate hearted. A distant body organ which organ I need to drink some more water. Anybody else really hungry all of a sudden? Like, come on. This game's making me starved. Let's talk to my favorite character. Stephen. Oh yeah. Who are you? I am Daniel Moynihan, mortician and proprietor of the Wayward Hotel. Feel that base. Most people ask me why I don't remember their names. Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. Besides, as one who deals with the dead, I try not to involve myself in the affairs of the living. Your loss of memory is of no concern to me, true or false. Ironic, considering my recent involvement in a charity event. What are you talking about? My complaints were central to the scheduling of the upcoming Harvest Bake Sale. I'm gratified the Order of the Harvest Moon got involved. The proceeds will certainly help cover my losses. You can feel the bass in your balls whenever he talks. And it's beautiful. <sighs> I'm sorry I'm drinking all this water. You must not be getting your three daily servings of red meat. Yeah, I'm not getting enough red meat and I'm kind of hot right now. This guy is getting me all hot and bothered and I'm going to have to get water in like 20 minutes probably. Maybe sooner. It's got to keep cool and I don't want to turn my fan on because it's loud. I really should. Like, it's not worth it. Whatever. Let's talk about Harvest Moon. Look at this guy's Abraham Lincoln that costume. Needs. Oh fuck. Such as uh, I I am gonna Pod. Why should I That was a long text of thing. What if I need Sorry, I'm gonna do that again. Order of the Harvest Moon. Yeah, spouting gibberish. Really? The order. They are spouting gibberish. No, tell me again. Harvest. Harvest moon. They are spouting gibberish. Whatever. I'm sorry for skipping that. I figured it would let me talk to him about it again. This fake sale is a joint effort of the Harvest PTA and the Order of the Harvest Moon. You just enjoy that basic the talk while I go get some water. To set up a fund for transients. In other words. Bums and societal rejects without families who wander into harvest uninvited. Then the order is setting up shelters for the homeless? Not shelters. Graves. You see a great number of these hobos die while passing through. Don't ask me why, it's what those people do. Here's He's still talking. Stephen memory or no. If they were involved in setting up homeless shelters, then why would I be involved? And why would I be sustaining losses? Oh yeah, the hobo talk. I remember that. Oh hey, we can talk about this again. As always, the Order of the Harvest Moon has taken the lead in addressing our societal ills. Through their sponsorship of the blood drive and the bake sale, the Lodge ensures that all our needs are met. Neat. Such as... Meat. <laughs> Pardon me, there are corpses to prepare. And my losses have been substantial of late. If you're sincerely interested in the order, however, you should stop by the lodge and speak with the sergeant at arms. Why should I be interested, Mr. Moynihan? Of all the spots in Harvest, the lodge is the most prominent, literally and figuratively. It is the ambition of everyone here to join. And join you must to attain wisdom. What kind of wisdom? The wisdom of the beat and not being a red commie. I have the feeling you have what it takes to join the order, Stephen. We all believe that. Whether or not you live up to your potential is up to you. 
Awesome. Um, I'm going to take a break from Abraham Lincoln, and I'm going to go visit somebody else for now. He gave me some good information about the lodge, and I can't stand one more second of the background I'd noise. Of it's a... been a pleasure, but I find the company of the living so wearisome. Good. You know what this background noise sounds like? This sounds like a somebody put a microphone in the bathroom of a dentist op <laughs> office. <laughs> Just shitting noises and fucking drills. What does this say? Schedule of funer funeracy. Is that a real word? <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, I don't think I ever went to the Johnson or residence. Who the fuck's this guy? Hello, Steve. How's the husband-to-be? Other than having no memory, I guess I'm all right. All right. Look at his eyes. You should be ecstatic, considering what you're getting into. If you Whoa. haven't gotten into it already. Holy shit. Speaking of which, I heard Stephanie was grounded. Her daddy's worried about getting his meat. So <laughs> if I were him... I'd be more concerned about Stephanie getting some meat. Uh, right. <laughs> and you are... Oh. You always were a kidder, Steve. I'm Mr. Johnson, remember? Your local Glad pedophile. You Just got finished waxing the tucker. I could oh. use a little relaxation. Oh. But since Edna's car. not here, I might as well talk to you. Whoa. Okay, you're Tucker. I hope I'm hoping he means his car. Heck of an automobile, isn't Yeah, thank God. Damn shame <laughs> I have to sit out here and watch over her all the time. But if I didn't, those stupid kids might scratch her up playing ball. If that's a real Tucker, I can understand your concern. I don't know what a Tucker Hell is. Hell yes, it's real. Whoa. I wouldn't be so protective of her if she was just a reproduction. Watch your language. I'm mighty particular about my Tucker. I had the garage remodeled like a fortress, so I could lock her up at night and get some sleep. I'm sure she's safe enough inside. A few months back, someone broke into my house, trying to get into the garage. I had to gripe like hell before the sheriff agreed to start the evening patrols and instigate the curfew. Oh. Damn. Stephanie. Let's talk Speaking about my fiance. I still haven't gotten an invitation to the wedding yet. Yeah, I can see I why. I don't have anything to do with that. That's okay. Personally, I'd prefer a pass to the honeymoon. Jesus Christ. You could use the back seat of my Tucker for the mate. Yeah, I'm, I didn't mean to skip that, but I'm glad that I did. All right, let's. <laughs> no, I don't have anything to ask him about. Bye now. Bye now. Mr. Johnson's erected an impenetrable fortress to protect his Tucker during the night. I feel I feel like this is one big innuendo, but I have no way to be sure, except for the fact that it's just one big innuendo and they're not hiding it at all. Let me just check something really quick. Um, yeah, I'm good. Okay. Everything's good. Let's get back to touching the tucker. During the day, Mr. Johnson keeps watching for his precious 48 tucker. I'm gonna steal his car. Let's kill him. What the fuck? Is somebody slaughtering a fucking chicken? Waxing the old Tucker. Hell yeah. Let's wax this fool. Come on. Old man. Come on, fight me. You can't beat me. Ask him about Evna if I haven't. I'll ask him about that after I'm done murdering him. Come on, yeah. Take that. Just constant punching him in the gut. 
Punch him in the leg and the gut. No mercy. The best fighting game since Tekken 3. Competitive harvester. I'm not even looking at the screen. I'm so good at this game. Come on, die already. Oh. Oh my god. He killed me. I'll be back for your Tucker. I'll ask him about Edna though. Thank you for the advice. I haven't I don't even know who this guy is. Right now I'm I'm blind again. The only people I've talked to just are the people I've talked to during the stream. The fireman and um the nuclear bomb guy. Who I will talk to after this. So Edna. Edna Fitzpatrick is one of the snootiest women in town. I declare there isn't a woman in Harvest that turned me away. If I was interested, that is. Just because she owns DNAs, she's got all DNAs. these highfalutin ideas about independence. She genics? Her with a little girl to raise. That child needs a father. And Edna, <laughs> well, she needs a good hard penis. <laughs> I can ask about the penis? I'm glad I asked. Thank you so much. Tell me more about this what penis. What makes you so sure she needs a penis? <laughs> you saying Edna's getting it from someone else? Like maybe that damn Sheriff Dwayne Dwayne? Oh my God. DNA's dying every day from noon to one, eating his dad gum pie. And I got a feeling he'd like Edna for dessert. What's dad gum pie? Sure, it's the only diner in town, but I'm sure he's got more on his mind than food. Please tell me about Dad Gum Pie real quick. I don't take your meaning. Surprising. Let me look that up real quick. I'm curious. This might kill my frames real quick, but it's worth it to know what Dad Gum Pie is. I'm hoping that doesn't mean what I think it means, and I think hoping that it's a real thing. Oh. Oh, it is a real thing. But one of the search results is... Okay, so I have recipes for dad gum... <laughs> dad gum pie. Recipe for dad gum pie. Recipe for dad gum pie. And then X videos, daddy come and me search. Okay. Good. I'm glad we made this discovery together. Thank you, DuckDuckGo. Let's talk about Edna's diner. Please mention more penises. Done it does good business. But money isn't everything to a woman. Can money keep you warm at night? Can you wrap your thighs around it? Rake bloody gashes in its back with your painted hollered fingernails? Holy shit. Edna! Edna! You're tearing me apart, Edna! So, how's Stephanie? Jesus! Speaking of Stephanie. Oh, we already talked about it. that. Okay, I've had enough of him. Right. Jesus Christ. Perfection. I don't know how I missed that before. Alright, let's go to the cemetery next. I've never been there. Oh. Here lies Mario. Iris, okay. You're like, oh, you can look. Bark's car, Willie. Really? Robba Williams? Oh. Oh, that's, that's, uh, not timely, but definitely prophetic. Loud-ass thunder effects, by the way. Look, a park bench. Oh, that's a picnic bit table. Never mind it. Yet another resting place among graves. Ha ha! <laughs> Very funny, excuse me. What does this game have against picnic? Look at that walk cycle, by the way. It's perfection, human form. It's this. 
the crypt. The Potsdam family crypt? Oh. Holy shit. The fuck? They your own family crypt? Family crypt? Not crypt. Family crypt. That has racist connotations to it. Oh, wrong button. Two buttons in this game, and I managed to press the wrong one. Amazing. Alright, let's get the hell out of this place. That's some. Whoa, what was that noise? I'm gonna ask Potstems about the crypt. It seems like an important thing to ask about. Talk to me, Mr. Potstem. It isn't my f crypt. Oh, hold on. Crypt. Stop mumbling, Steve. Uh, whatever. I should have expected as much. It would have been. Oop, wrong button. Three buttons. I was wrong. Alright, let's go back to the grindstone on exploring. Drink my water again. Okay. Let's get back to it. Next, we talk to the fireman. Because God hates me. Please excuse the mess. Thur, yeah, they Thur. They wonders with the upstairs bedroom, but this garage defies color coordination. Oh. Oh, God damn it! I just noticed that. The fire hydrant. Are you kidding me? Oh. Saliva is foaming, foaming from his barking chops. Let's talk to the fireman. Don't bother me, I'm sketching. Oh, look what you made me do. This whole area was just an excuse for them to do gay fireman sense. I don't converse on the job, Steve. Why may models? Hello, Steve. Welcome to the House of Flame, as we like to call it. Oh, cut it out, Spot. Honestly. Once he gets barking, a good piece of meat is the only way to shut him up. I bet that's the only way to shut you up, too. There you go, Spot. I love how that scene... So, Steve! Bet you don't remember me. Uh. Heard about that short in the old wiring. I'm Fire Marshal Sparky, head of your fire department. Oh, God. Yeah, I have I have haven't explored it this time around, but I did have a stream last time where I did some exploring of the areas that I've ex talked to previously that I sounded really bored in, and I did some exploring there. I went in their bathroom and shit. Um, there wasn't really anything there for me to find that I knew of. I know that there's uh, a peephole there that I'm supposed to be able to find, but I didn't know anything about that. Okay, let's 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 just get rip this band-aid off. We're close to where we left off last time, but I'm gonna keep going. Just to make up for it. Don't bother looking at that old stream by the way, on the full thing. It exists, but it's just a black screen. I I put up a picture of a sad clown instead. Why are you sketching nude men in my fire department? It's not the subject, it's the process. I agree. Be such a party God bless. Art. Artistic merit can be found oh, everywhere. We haven't had a fire and harvest since the newspaper building burned down. Though I'll admit that the wasp woman's place is one big accident waiting to happen. Isn't that right, Spot? Please stop with the dog. <laughs> Also, the audio levels in this fucking cutscenes are terrible. Whatever. Art. Show me your art. art. More. Oh, oops. Art enriches the community, Steve. No less than a pulsing fire hose or a fireman beating down a blazing door. So what if we're drawing a nude man? So what if all we ever draw is a nude man or the 
same nude man over and over in all sorts of provocative positions. Context, not content. Process, not subject. Don't be so ghosty. It's beneath you. I agree. I have nothing but agreement for this man. God. God, God, God. A dreadful affair. You wouldn't think that a brick and dreadful steel building with a sprinkler system could go up that quickly. I think it was arson? Wait. Maybe you were too busy trying to put it out in time. Art enriches the community. Oh. Wasp woman. Some people think all we do is sit around, sketching, fetching examples of manhood for our own amusement. Nothing could be further from the truth. Why, just the other day we cited Ted to a crumb for fire code violations. All the dried out paper wasp nests clustered around a wooden house. Why, it's a chem log just waiting for the right faggot. <laughs> Believe me. None of us wants to see another fiasco God. like a sentinel fire. Fuck off. Yeah. It was funnier the first time. <laughs> it's still pretty fucked up now. And I'm still mad. Just waiting for the right faggot. Look at that. Look at that. I need to censor that. Where do I get out of this goddamn place? Let's leave and never come back until we find out that there's more funny shit to explore. Oh my god. Let's check out the newspaper building. Burned down. These three fire hydrants in this building still burned down. Yeah, what the fuck? What's left of the news newspaper building after an extreme fire? At least the piping is up. Yeah. Shovel. Ooh. Oh, I can take it? Oh my god. I just got it. Well, that didn't work. Oh shit. Bake. It's a flyer for the harvest bake sale. Okay. Neat. Well, I have the shovel now. That's useful. Let's... Let's go to the police station. Explore there a little bit. It's a policeman. Traffic cop. Cop ignores you, too bu busy writing a bug report. <sighs> you can have your little jokes and your little humor game. I better get some good policeman jokes. Where are the donuts, huh? Hello, Steve. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sheriff Dwayne Dwayne. Dwayne Dwayne. Loomis. Pleasure, I reckon. Well, Mrs. And Dwayne, we haven't met before? Of course we have, but I heard about your alleged amnesia and figured I'd play along. Whoa. I sure hope this is just a prank and not the start of some insanity plea. Keep your nose clean or you'll wind up in jail and that's no place to hold a wedding. Damn. Jail. Wait, crime. I skipped that. I bet that was funny. Crime-wise, nothing much has happened in Harvest since the newspaper fire. Oh, sure. Every week or so, we get the odd transient dropping dead. That's no big but deal. Other than that, it gets pretty slow. <sighs> Who cares about hobo dying? Transients. We get a lot of bums, drifters passing through Harvest. Those people are never very healthy to start with. I figure they come to our fair town, look around, and decide it's a nice place to die. You mean they drop dead here on a regular basis? Like flies. I just got a message that I'd my stream was slowing down. If I could, I finally saw it. But there's never enough room. If that's the case, uh, tell me. 
they're pretty good about not sticking around long. Sure, it's a burden on me. Might be because I looked up the having to Daddy Com video. I only hope the PTA Lodge bake sale will help out along those lines. Tell me if it gets better, and please don't privately message me this time, because that doesn't do me any good. Moynihan. Oh, I forgot. You've got amnesia. Mr. Moynihan operates both the Wayward Hotel and Wait, really? the Mortuary. Kind of a double burden for the poor man. Transients always it's like across town looking for a place to crash, then croaking. Did he mention that Maybe earlier? It's not a coincidence. You mean a crime? Oh no. Moynihan's charity only extends so far. He won't check them in, but he'll sure check them out quick enough. <sighs> he figures if they can't pay for the room, to hell with them. But if they can't pay for the burial, it's hell for us. What with the smell and all. I guess you can't say too much against Moynihan. What with him letting you hold the wedding in his mortuary chapel and all. Yeah, nice. Amnesia or no, you can't have forgotten you're about to marry the prettiest little thing at Harvest. I think you and Sky seems are nice. perfect for each other. I just hope her father's disappointment doesn't spoil everything. Disappointment? Mr. Potsdam wants to hold the wedding in the lodge, but he'll never get in. Like all the rest, he's always hanging around the post office the first day of the month, waiting for Boyle to bring out that month's lodge applications. And there's always a long line, never enough applications to go around, and even if you do get an application, chances are you're right out of luck. Fewer call to the order and even less accepted. And Potsdam, well, they've turned him down so many times. Unless he does something radical, he'll never get in. Nice. I'm just going to check on something real quick. We can talk about the lodge. Well, that's happening. I don't mind telling you. I'd never get anything done if not for the lodge's efforts. To join the Order of the Harvest Moon is the highest dream of everyone in Harvest. How can I get an application I want to join? I'm thinking I'm gonna... Like I said, unless you get an application on the first day of the month, you're generally out of luck. Stop by the post office and talk to Postmaster Boyle. You never know. He might have a spare application laying around. I'm wondering... Uh, what I was gonna do is I'm gonna stop on by any time, Steve. I'm just gonna talk to everybody else in the town, uh, and then I'll end it there. And then next episode we can start working on whatever quests they give us. Let's talk to Loomis instead of Dwayne. Dwayne. Anything I can help you with? I don't know, Hans Mole Man. That coffee sure smells good. Help yourself. Oh God. Speaking of which. You're real lucky to be marrying Stephanie. She don't look like a good woman. I just hope she don't turn out like Mrs. Loomis. Her mercy forbid Mrs. Phelps. Good women can be awful hard. She don't look like a good woman. Needs, what? Don't you know? Oh. Oh. I kind of get what he's saying. Mrs. Loomis. Oh, gosh, I wish I had some of them girly pictures. But Mrs. Loomis won't let me keep them in the house. What? I still remember the time she caught me holding some of them pictures up with one hand. She took the broom to me. Jesus. Howled like a hound dog, the broom going up and down, flashing straw and blood, blood and straw, and I drooped. I was crying so bad. Oh my and gosh. It was so hard, I had to crawl under the porch naked. What the fuck? Lit on the black widow spiders. <laughs> oh god. Bits of the fierce little fangs are digging into my bare behind all over. Jesus. I ask you, is that any way to treat a man? 
<laughs> and Mrs. Phelps and the sheriff don't make it no easier neither. He's standing right there. Let's let me, let's talk about him while he stands right there. That'd be good. Yeah, Sheriff Dwayne had a little kind. He let me get around the little lady by letting me keep some of them picture books here. Picture books? Even if Mrs. Phelps would let me buy one. But see, he won't let me keep none here neither. He don't like me getting the jail mattress all marked up, don't you know? Oh. You're just as mad as bad as Mr. Johnson. Jesus Christ. Let's talk about a man's needs. Wait, hold on. I think this is the same conversation. Sometimes a man can be good with a gun or a knife, but even so one-handed and all, he can get a little off in his aim. Oh, Make God. Shame in it. That's why the good Lord made evaporation and such. Oh. But the sheriff, he don't like it. He don't pay no mind to a man's needs no more than Mrs. Loomis. I'm sorry, I'm fucking flabbergasted. Did he just say he was jerking off on the jail mattress and letting it evaporate? Wow. This game is amazing. That's all I'm gonna say. This game is top 10. You sure ought to appreciate what a man's gotta do sometimes in a Holy shit. Waist high knot hole in a tree or waist high knot hole in a tree. Matter of fact, Mrs. Phelps got no reason not to sell you some of them French postcard girly picture books. If you can get in, you see clear to part with them. Bring them around when the sheriff's at lunch, and I'd be obliged. So I'm gonna, s I have to give him pornography so he can jerk off to it? Is that a real side quest? Talk to me more about these French postcards. Come on. Of course, I don't necessarily mean French postcards. That's just what we called them in my day. Any kind of girl picture book, the kind men like, would be. He's getting real close to the microphone right now, and I have headphones on. And I don't like this old man whispering to my ear very much. Let's talk about Mrs. Phelps, because I have no idea who that is. Holy shit. Mrs. Phelps down at the general store don't help things none. She's got them special picture books. The one with the lady. But she won't sell me none on account of she knows my wife, Mrs. Loomis. That gummit that don't burn God damn my it. riches. Stop talking about that. I even ask about him, she tells Mrs. Loomis, and I get the broom. Enough to break a man's heart. Her burns my print postcards, and we unable to replace them. A man's got need, don't you know? This is my second favorite character in this whole game. I've decided this. Good lord. Okay, I've done talking to him. Anytime, kiddo. Jesus. <laughs> Anytime, kiddo. <sighs> Nothing personnel, kiddo. So, oh, I can't go in there. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. I'll keep my eye out for porn. If we find any porn while we're out and about, I'll be sure to give it to him. Alright, we can go to Edna's Diner TV station. Let's go to Edna Diners first. Oh my god. This is absurd. DNA's. Oh, I get it. Even from the ground, you can hear the snorous buzz of the neon. 
Look at that car. That looks fucking cool. Look at that motorcycle. Who rides a motorcycle in this town? A 1955 frag with... Uh, people in this game are obsessed with automobiles. <gasps> oh, I just threw it in my mouth a little bit. Thinking about that mattress. Whoa. Sheriff Dwayne, you move fucking fast. Hello there, Steve. Here for lunch? You were just... No, just here looking around. Though I'm not entirely sure where here is. Oh, I forgot. You're playing your little amnesia prank. Well, boy, this is DNA's diner. Isn't that right, Edna? Don't listen to Sheriff Dwayne. This is Edna's diner. But ever since the E burned out on the sign, they've been giving me a hard time. Now, don't be like that, Edna. It's a great place to eat, which is good. Since it's the only place to eat and harvest. You can eat the meat at the lodge if you're not Stop a coward. By any time, Steve. Talk to Edna. Oh, Steve, what are you doing sneaking up on me like that? Standing right in front of you. For a second, I thought you were Mr. Johnson. Yeah. I bet. What would you like to order? You know me? Sure. And my name's Edna Fitzpatrick. Oh, crap. I'm not the one with amnesia. Then you believe me. Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. I guess I've changed. I'm not kidding. Now, Steve, faking amnesia won't help anything. If you don't want to marry Stephanie, then don't. But don't play sick, for heaven's sake. I'd expect that from Karen, not an 18-year-old. Mm. Karen? You've met Karen, my eight-year-old. Oh, right. Other than the diner, she's all I have. Lingering on that shot for a little bit long, but okay. Let's talk to Stephanie, or about Stephanie. There isn't a nicer girl in Harvest than Stephanie, Steve. You should be grateful that she's promised you her hand. I don't remember that happening, Edna. Honestly, you men are so childish. I don't know what it is about marriage that turns even the bravest man into a coward. Ugh. I was going to marry Karen's father when he just up and ran out on me one night. I heard that he joined the lodge. But if he did, I never saw him come out again. Even Sheriff Duane wasn't able to find out what happened to him. Damn. Alright, that leaves... My third favorite character, Mr. Johnson, to talk about. Oop. Shit, wrong button. I can't talk now. The dishes are stacked up and back, and I better take advantage of the lull. Oh, shit. My mouse just got locked in to the screen. Hold on. There we go. Sorry, my bad. Mr. Let me ask him a question. Johnson. Mr. Johnson has a, a liking for me. I call it a crush, but that's too innocent a word. He's a bitter man with too much time on his hands. Yeah. He's never gotten over being rejected by the lodge. And there's something unwholesome in the way he looks at me. I'm always glad when the sheriff comes in every day at noon. I'm gonna ask the sheriff about Mr. Johnson too. The lodge. The Lodge is the repository of all wisdom. Good. You should join the Order of the Harvest Moon, Steve. And soon. Damn. Why? For God's sake, what is it about this place? The wheat ripens and waits not for the scythe. The farmer who waits too long, it were better that he use the scythe to rip his own stomach out than to stay his scythe when the wheat ripens. Wow. She seems like a cool person to tell her us now. And then comes winter. An empty belly, the body sans belly, gurgling within or bloody on the ground. What does it benefit a man if he gains his soul and loses the world? You hunger. Holy shit, really? Feed yourself before it's too late. Oh. Edna? Steve. What happened? Were we talking about Boyle? Or was it Karen? You seem oh. strange there for a minute. I'm sorry. I'm under a lot of stress. Running this diner all alone. Forgive me. I sense a MILF. 
But besides that, you say that the actor who played Steve was arrested for s child pornography charges. Stop by any time. Well, that makes this a little bit more conspicuous, doesn't it? And in front of a police Hi, officer. Karen? What are you doing? <laughs> Playing? My mom is working, so I gotta stay out of her hair. Wanna play? Not now, maybe later. Okay. Unrealistic. Bye -bye. Oh, you won't let me talk to the little girl? Whatever, game. Hold on, can I punch her? Ow. Now hold on. Hold the phone. I probably can't, but... Allegedly. Allegedly I can. Bye -bye. Move over here, Steve. Move. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Did I win? What were you thinking? Attacking someone like that with so many witnesses around You'll have plenty of time to think about it boy Apparently not somebody help me What do you people want from me? Too late for that boy ain't it sergeant Indeed it is Oh no a jpeg <laughs> What's this guy? Somebody didn't wet the sponge! They didn't wet the sponge! So who's playing asteroids? God damn it. All I did was murder a little girl. Nerve on some people. Allegedly, too. All right, let me ask the police officer about Mr. Johnson. Long ass load time. All right. Sorry, boy. I never- Oh. Is he gonna say that no matter what? Say what? Yeah. Well, that doesn't matter. Drop on by any time. Okay. I'll talk to him teleporting sheriff for later. Well, but 24 hours, huh? How do you even do that with one person? You don't. That's the answer to that question. Alright, TV station. What the fuck? Indians. Too busy drinking and smoking, they ignore you. Damn! This game doesn't hold back. Oh. So don't go away. And what's your name, hombre? Steve. Steve's a swell name. My dog's name is Steve. Would you like my autograph, Steve? Yeah, I guess. Here you go, then. TV violence. Violence? What about it? Children, watch your show. Don't you think that this violence is bad for them? I love all the blood and gore on your show. Yes. You're brave. And you should be allowed to kill more people on your show. What red-blooded American doesn't? Hell yeah. Nothing like an exploding head to get the blood pumping. Literally, that is. Damn right. Even so, do you think society pays a heavy price for the violence in the media? 
Of course they pay a heavy price. Just look at the net profits. They'll line up around the block to see a good slaughter. Hell yeah. Now, excuse me, we're going back on the air. Alright, who else? Is this the exit? Oh, war. Very poor reception. Strange since the broadcast originates from here. Is that Max Headroom? Hey, sport. This is a private office. No, it's just yeah, a I know, bully Mr. from a '90s movie. Make night. I own and operate this station. Oh, hey. Have you brought me How you doing? For tonight's broadcast, or I've lost my memory. That's news. The hell it is. Come on, McFly. You were a kidder, Steve. You were always were a kidder, McFly. You used to tell me. Actually, I was just wanting to know more about the TV station. Hey, WHAR is the only television station in Harvest. Since the old Sentinel went under, what with the newspaper building burning down and all, we're golden. Nobody competes with us, sport. Alright. And your partners, you and your partners must be rich. Partners? I run the whole show solo, pal. Oh. Okay. Can I talk to him some more? Don't hurry back. Oh. Guess not. Oh well. Alright. Let's keep it going. I like that part of the game. I hope I get a quest there at some point. What's up there? Oh. Nothing else to examine? More Tuckers. I don't even know what a Tucker is, but I guess it's a rare car. <sighs> Alright. What's left? We have the missile base, the meat plant, the memorial school, barber shop, post office, general store, and the lodge. Yeah, I can work that out. Gein Memorial School. I'm gonna go till like midnight actually. I think that's fair. What the fuck? Principal Harold. Steve, good of you to drop by, big guy. Haven't seen you since graduation. A lot of changes I hear. You could say that. Good, good. That's a nice part of my job. Turning fine young men and women out into the world and then watching them prosper. Of course, I was able to reach more people at the old Sentinel, God bless her. But then again, I never got to see the results of my work up close before. Who are you? You know very well I'm Mr. Harold, the principal of Gain Memorial. Wait. Steve, I've heard about this amnesia nonsense. I had hoped you'd be in the lodge by now, fine young fellow like yourself. But now, I think maybe you need a little more... Quality time. Uh, whoa. Big guy? Big guy? Zooming straight into the big guy. An 80s movie? Whoa, is my stream that far behind? What were you reacting to there? Tell me if my frames are dropping. That would be pretty bad. Um, quality time. Tell me about what that. What do you mean, quality time? Quality time. Some, like Miss Whaley, favor stern discipline. Corporal punishment as a means of socialization. Myself, I temper discipline with love. Yeah, he's a pedophile. That's what I'm getting. Quality time can be such a warm, sharing experience. After just a few sessions, you'd stop this amnesia nonsense Good Lord. and become a productive member of society. Holy shit. And a fit candidate for the lodge. Let's talk about the lodge. Big guy, born some quality time. The God. greatest gift I can God. bestow upon you as your former principal is a word of advice. Join the order of the harvest moon at any cost. Within the lodge lies your future, and without dust. 
quality time. Big guy. Tell me about the big guys. Why do they need the quality time? Why do you keep calling me big guy? A sign of respect, lad. As principal, my station is higher than yours now. But you never know what the future holds. So you should always hedge your bets. And pay tribute to your inferiors. You never know who will come to power. Or who. Even now, wields it behind the scenes. For all I know, you might already be a member of the Order. With access to the Lodge. That's fair. If that were the case, you'd be my superior. And I'd be all that much better off having shown you respect. And spent some quality time with you. Jesus. Stop talking about quality time. Surely mine is the most important position in Harvest. The ability to mold young minds. That's power. You might think Sheriff Dwayne's the most important man here, big guy. But he only deals with my failures. Do you feel in when charge? When I do my job right... Tell me when I'm back. If I am back. Hopefully that wasn't too bad. Um, I really apologize for that. I try not to... It's because I looked up the pie earlier. Oop, I, I just adjusted my audio. That should be good again. But yeah, tell me if I'm back. Oh, look, Steve has a little idle animation. Here, I'm gonna punch him now. Oh, I killed him. That was easy. Oh. Now I'm being arrested for murder again. Okay. Yeah, let's, we don't need to see this again. What were you? Okay. Let's get this over with. Alright, load the game. Again. Oh, fuck. Got unlocked again. There we go. You see motion this time? Yeah. Yeah, that's really my bad. Um, I have a really weak laptop. So sometimes if I do stuff like search stuff up online... Uh, ooh, wrong save. My bad. Again. That's last time save. That didn't go very well. But yeah. It doesn't happen as long as I keep to the game. Or if I don't play a really intensive game. It should be good now. I'm sorry that that lasted for as long as it did. Um, but we're back now. And we're gonna keep playing... Harvester. And I killed the old man. Nothing happened. So... Are these... Classrooms open? I'm guessing they all lead to the same classroom. This is fucking creepy. My goodness, class, this is Steven. He used to be a student here at Gein Memorial. Say hello, class. They're reticent. The educator's reticent. greatest problem today is the apathy of the students. What's wrong with their heads? What? I can tell you in one word, Stephen. Discipline. Thank goodness you weren't a sulky bear. You were always a smiley bear. What's wrong with their and heads? You remember me? Not as such. So many pupils, Stephen. They come. Are they gonna show go. me the heads? But I can always spot those who were nice boys. You can tell from the forehead. The lobes. Right, class? What? I'm glad you stopped by, Stephen. <laughs> Are they gonna Here show to me what these kids look like? About civic responsibility? Not really. I was just passing through. Oh, but you must, Stephen. A positive role model might be just the thing to inspire these little monsters. Monsters, Jesus. Steven, have you any questions for me? Or shall I continue with class? Um, yeah, I do. I do have questions. Ask away, then. What does the class look like? Corporal punishment. What the fuck? We don't practice corporal punishment here. I've never believed in that old adage, spare the rod and spoil the child. A rod is too thin. But a baseball bat? Jesus. That bridges the generation gap quite nicely. <laughs> oh dear. Colonel Monroe is conducting another air raid drill. Oh god. Everyone into the hallway, quick!
If an A-bomb hits, what good is it gonna do to duck and cover? <laughs> Hope you brought your shin pants. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> my stars, that was exciting. I've never seen such a wacky, wacky show like a woman, a grown woman hitting a child with a baseball bat. What the fuck did I just see? Jesus Christ. Talk to me about Harvest. Can you tell me anything about Harvest? Harvest was founded by the Order of the Harvest Moon about a hundred years ago. For what purpose? Why, I'm sure you'd have to ask them. You'll find the members of the Order at the Lodge. Uh, let's ask with the Lodge, now look at the class. That? Hopefully it'll show me what their heads look like. like Harvest, was constructed with a specific yeah, you might want to put some gain on that audio there. Is known only to those within the Order. You're at about the right age to join them, and I'm no one to talk. And you will do so if you care about your future. Whatever. Okay. Stop by any time, Stephen. Just tell me if there's anything wrong, by the way. And I'll fix it. Children look stunned and zombified. Yeah, that's about how I feel right now from what I just fucking saw. Nothing else to see besides the quality time. Jesus Christ. Let's go. Let's get out of here. This is going better if you can believe it than my last Harvester stream. Just by the virtue that you can see anything at all. I do much better streams of uh, Final Fantasy and Pokemon. But who knows? Sip Chakra is also pretty good too. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do System Shock again, though. It'll happen. Spend some quality time. Quality time. It's QT quality time. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is that? A fucking jackal? Oh, I work here, don't I? Um, give me a minute. Uh, about the same, I guess. He's been away from work for weeks, and when I call your house, your mother won't let me talk to him. I haven't seen him either. This is a fine kettle of fish, I must say. Though I am glad to see you taking an interest in the business in your dad's absence. Who are you? Aw, oh, Steve, I didn't want to believe that amnesia hokum. Now you're saying you don't remember your pal Pat O'Reilly? Oh, God. <sighs> Fucking hell. Anyways, before I start talking to this guy, I just want to talk about my future streaming schedule real quick. Next stream will be Final Fantasy and Pokemon Red again. Um, double stream. And that should happen within the next couple days. And then the stream after that, we will finally return to System Shock 2. I will get that working in the meantime. Because wine kind of sucks. But also, it'll be Harvester, it'll be another double stream. And then after that, I may introduce another thing. I haven't decided yet. But then from that point on, we'll, we'll sort of get in the swing of things. All right, let's talk about cats. Talk about some pussy. What's with all the cats? This a slaughterhouse or a kennel? Oh, them? They eat the scraps, that's all. Really? Yeah, but look at... Isn't there some kind of health department that keeps tabs on these things? Are you going to work at the health department, Steve? Or here? You seem defensive, I wonder why. Maybe I get sick of do-gooder busybodies sucking around here all the time. A man's up to his elbows and... Is that an eyeball? ...all day, every day. What more do they want? Looks like an eyeball and a turd, drenched in... Kool-Aid. Dad's illness. What exactly is wrong with your dad? I don't know. I can't get in to see him. Preferred way is XP in a VM like VirtualBox. I would do that if um, my computer was better. Unfortunately, like I said, my laptop kind of sucks, so I gotta do it through Wine. 
I think play on Linux might be a little bit better for what I'm doing, but either way, it's going to happen. It wasn't that high of a frame rate earlier in the other two streams, but I don't think my main problem is with wine is that I can't get the uh, audio working properly right now because it uses the same channel that apparently that um, OBS wants to. It was probably an easy fix. I had to fiddle around just to get DOSBox to work properly, so... It's no biggie. It'll happen. That'll be the stream after the next, like I said. You might want to stick around to watch that. We'll play Harvester 2. Um, family business. You may come to realize that this business is not for everybody. Just ask your poor, ill dad. Wait, so does... Dedication. The dad owns the slaughterhouse, right? Yeah, we're looking back at the same JPEG, okay. A lot of times, when I'm finished scrubbing up and digging the bits of intestine out from my fingernails, I must confess Good I way don't to have sort of sense. for red meat. But red meat is one of the principal food groups, and you've got to have it. So when you can do this all day, and help yourself to a juicy red steak afterwards. Then, by golly, you can call yourself a butcher. Is this supposed to make me disgusted? All it's doing is making me hungry. You would certainly help that, wouldn't it? I'm gonna lower the audio on that a little bit. That should be. That should actually be good now. If there. Hopefully, that's a good audio level. I want to keep things loud, but not overpowering. Meat. Let's talk about meat. Think of it. I don't see any cattle around here. Where do you keep the animals? <laughs> Does it matter? The end product is all the customer cares about, Steve. And we only carry the finest meat, only the juiciest. Oh God. Oh, well. that disgusted me. Once you take over the business, you'll realize the importance Stop of maintaining. Stop cutting to this fucking JPEG, Jesus. We know what we're doing here, Steve. If we didn't, would the lodge use us to cater their affairs? Correct. Sounds like a pulse audio issue. Or something that pulse audio might fix. Yeah, I, to be honest, I haven't actually looked into it that much, but yeah, it would probably be what it is. Something about that. I probably just have to fiddle with the audio settings in Wine until it works. It's not that bad. It'll happen, you know? I'm more concerned about the frame rate, to be honest, but it'll happen. I've already committed to playing System Shock 2. It's the first thing I streamed, so I'm going to finish it and make my choices better in the future. I'm sure it's good. Can I have some meat to take home? Oh god, not the lodge again. I want some meat to take home. I'm not a communist. Your father's very particular about the profit, Steve. No freebies for anyone. But seeing how you're his son, if you'll bring written permission from your father, I'll give you the meat. Yeah, give me the meat. Give me the meat, big boy. That in costs. Alright, actually, yeah, I'll just talk about cutting There's costs. certain tricks to the trade, Steve. Once your dad gets better and you start working in here cutting up the meat, you'll be privy to them. There's always cheaper, better ways to do things. If <sighs> Alright. That's that's all I wanted to talk about. I love the meat. Don't be such a stranger, Steve. And my best to your dad. I gotta figure out how to talk to the dad. I think his door is locked, from what I could tell. At least from last time I played. All right. Meat plant. Okay, we're gonna skip over the missile base because oh, that's where I want to end it. To be honest. Unless the lodge is like some big thing. We'll tackle the lodge next time actually. I'm just gonna finish off exploring this episode, talking the middle missile base. Missile base. Finish all these three places I haven't even seen yet. Maybe we'll give him his porno mag. And then we'll finish off in the missile base and I'll show you all what I saw last time. With an explosive finale. Let's talk let's go to the barber shop first. All right. Wow. This looks like a Gmod map. <laughs> I'm not critiquing. Critiquing. Critiquing kaka. But I'm just commenting. Kind of looks like a Gmod tree. Oh, Lord. 
So we have a black man, a midget, and a hillbilly. Aliens, cows, a B-52 bomber, and a sheep for some fucking reason. This is literally a bar joke. What are you fuck? What is this song? Is this a Christmas song? Da, da, the mistletoe. Not quite. An unfortunate extraterrestrial who journeyed hundreds and thousands of light years to wind up mounted on a barber's wall. About right. Sculpture. Um. Do I really want to know? It's probably a real, real woman's torso covered in plaster. Made a solidified mount, mount, moose, moose, and my dead brain cells. This lovely mannequin is a work of art. Wow. Let's look at the sheep. Except for occasional hairball cough, it's hard to tell if the sheep is alive or not. Barber's pole. Fancy barber pole secured to the wall with street slot screws. Let's talk to the midget first. Howdy, Steve. Oh god. Yeah. Howdy back, Mr. Pete Swell, Steve. Don't you pull my old leg now. Change your mind about that aluminum siding? What are you talking about? I really think you should talk your father into buying some. He can afford it. And I can't stress enough the value of some really fine aluminum siding. Is he really a midget or is he like killed in the war? In the winter? Like and um Hank Hill's dad. Pastorelli ought to look into some, but I can't get him to understand a word I say. I think he's a midget. Maybe. I can't tell. I'm sorry, um, what are they called now? Height impaired? I don't- it's a midget. I'm sorry if that offends you. I don't mean any offense by it. Just, I don't know what they're called. There's not enough of them for me to care. Wow, that sounds really insensitive, but... I'm an asshole. Aluminum siding, what the fuck is he talking about? He's a good actor. Steve. Aluminum siding can't get a fair shake no more. Sounds like Robin Williams. Firemen came to harvest, filling people's heads. Sounds like Robin Williams doing a voice. Like color coordination and interior design. You can paint aluminum, you know, if you want to. But even so, you can't. I can't seem to move it anymore. Not even to a rube like Pastorelli. How do you paint it with aluminum? For the plumbing. You paint... So with aluminum paint, you would, like, heat it up? I don't know, unless it's, like, aluminum fused into paint. Oh! Oh, the mistletoe! Plumbing. Well, I seen the end coming for the aluminum siding game, so I took a mail course and learned how to be a plumber. Now, there's a business that never lets up. You shove your hands down the toilet. People flush down the toilet. <laughs> well, if it's fucking Loomis, probably flushing girly mags so he doesn't get the broom. Pastorelli. Are we playing chess? Or, no, I'm just playing checkers. I didn't even see what he fucking said. Oh, well. It's like an octave off? Yeah. Parsons. Mr. Parsons. I'll leave the old black man for last because I'm not ready for that physically. They say the aliens I was telling you about, well, they came back last night. Cut another crop circle in my south field. How come I never see none of them saucers clam? Them aliens is wild, they think. You don't cross the intergalactic void without learning a trick or two. It's true. You know what Pastor really did? Yesterday, he gets an alarm system to protect his pole. Only he don't know how to rig it, so now it's all awry. What? I don't even know who that is. Did I already talk to Pastorelli? I don't think I did. The Pastorelli's a funny sort. Foreigner, don't you know? He cuts hair pretty good, but he don't know spit about nothing else. You just ask him to hook up an alarm system if you need convincing. Alarm system. Tell me about the alarm. I want to steal. 
I'm sorry for the clicking audio. I don't know if that's normal or not. cheap to hire an electrician to hook her up. Dang idiot crosswired it through the fire sprinkler. So now when the alarm goes off, it sets the sprinkler spray. Tarnation. Aliens looking for intelligent life ought to stay away from this shop. Sure enough. That was at the next door. Aliens. Aliens. Are you telling me that aliens... Could aliens be coming here and getting shot by farmers? Well, so the answer is yes. The yes, they are. A specialized area of woodcraft, the known. What? All but the wiliest sportsman. What you gotta remember is, your average alien is smarter than your average human. So you gotta be extra careful building your blind if you want a bag one. You hunt aliens. Son, after nailing an alien, you can never go back to quail. Gentleman's game. You can get one of those and it swapped me. God damn. Line your blind with lead to fool their scenting machines. Lay real quiet and wait. Preferably in the woods around the nuclear base. Oh, they love messing uh. around that day. Why not wait outside your field, Clem? Wait for them to come a carving. All they do, their crop doodles with zap guns, you darn fool. Don't you know nothing? Yeah. I take no place to Everybody knows that. Out in the field. Now you listen to Clem Parsons if you want to tag an unearthly being. Tagging unearthly beings is my business. Void, wondering what lies beyond all the time, not knowing that what awaits them is buckshot. Yeah. Fuck aliens. All right, that hyped me up. So now I'm ready for this undoubtedly racist joke. Oh God. Oh, they didn't even need a conversation. They just needed one fucking box for me to be laughing. He doesn't understand English, good. It explains why they're talking shit about him right in front of him. I thought he would be the general store. I wasn't even paying attention to where I was. I'm fucking stupid. Alright. Let's go to the post office and then general store and then I bet I can get a fucking nudie bag in there. Didn't they sell like fucking really fucked up nudie mags back in like the 50s when there was no regulation on them? Like you get illegal shit in there? Who the fuck's this lady? Come on. Zip code map with the Harvest Dead Center. Oh, no, that's not the woman. I'm sorry. My, no. My mouse is firm. Blind woman is trying to read her mail. Good. I believe that we've offended everybody now. So. Yes. I need some help. Mr. Postmaster Boyle, yeah. what can I do for you today? I need a lodge application. Mm, sorry, youngster, we're out of applications right now. Come on, you must have one around here somewhere. God, Steve. Well, I do have so fucking master, pushy. But you can't write on that. And I only make copies once a month on the button, regular as clockwork. Well, can I get, go get one at the lodge instead? Come on, I won't kill you to make a lousy copy. It's, it's not the effort, son. It's the principle. We must adhere to our standards. They're all that stand between civilization and chaos. I'm sorry, you'll just have to come back in a month, same as anyone else. And even then, I can't guarantee you'll get an application. The line is always long, and they are never enough to go around. Okay. It's very important that I get in quickly. That's what they all say. Postmaster Boyle, I'll just die if I don't get into the lodge. I can't make an exception, young man. It just wouldn't be right. Yeah. Come on, Steve. Why are you being so rude? Next time you post, don't forget the zip code. Don't forget the zip code. Ah, damn. Don't forget your zip code. A zippity doo da, zippity day. All right. Swoops. I had to go check something real quick and we're good still good um all that's left is the post office or not the post office the general store 
And then we can probably pick up something in there if it's an easy quest. Take that to the police station, and if not, we'll just go straight to the missile base. And then we can end the stream there. Who's this guy? Any man. Uh, just fucking nobody. Whatever. Okay. Talk to Mrs. Can I Phelps. Who are you? This is Phelps General Store. So who would that make me? Maybe you need to go back to Game Memorial and have Miss Whaley teach you about logic. I'm mm. fuzzy on a lot of things these days. My memory's gone. Shaw, you always were a kid of Steve. I'm serious, I need some help. Well, they say <laughs> a sharp blow to the head is a good thing for amnesia. In which case, I'd recommend Miss Whaley again. No. Then again, they say a good scare can jog the memory. In which case, I'd advise you to visit the sergeant at arms over at the lodge. That man gives me the willies. Speaking of willies, how's your father? Mm. Save before missile base? Yeah, I know. Have I've been there today? before. I'll save before the missile base, and then I'll show you what happens. Yes, I'd like to buy something. So she has. Point to whatever you want. I'm a little hard of hearing. Where's the nudie bags? Nudie mags. Nudie mags. Projector. Barrel. Water cooler. The shelf. Can I get nudie mags like that? Oh, I just gotta look at like that. S what does that say? Slavery? No. Coffee cans, soup cans with poison symbols on them. An ashtray just sitting there. Tape. Coffee cans. Adult magazine and a wrench. Let's get the adult magazine. Let's pay Mrs. Phelps before you buy anything. How do I do that? Oh god. Do I have any money? Permission slip. Range Rider autograph. Can I give it to her? That, that, that braced it? No, it didn't. I bet I could give it to the kid, couldn't I? Yeah, I can't buy the nudie mag right now. But... I will give this Range Rider autograph to my brother. Because I guess that would be a nice thing to do before I go get myself killed. If he's going to die in a nuclear holocaust, I may as well give him the one thing he would enjoy. Not hitting him with a shovel. No, I'm gonna give him this photograph. Leave what? me alone, will ya? This is the good part. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. You know what? I don't need this. Should I go to the lodge or the latest issue of Gigantic Asses? Yeah, I noticed that. I was expecting something more risque, but it was just spanked asses. Alright. I could go to the lodge. But I've technically been streaming for like two hours now. So, and that's a pretty long time. For me, at least. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna get myself blown to bits. As a little bit of a finale for the night. Let's talk to my favorite character in the whole game. Alright. Just full of nukes. They took my legs! I killed 50 men! Colonel Buster Monroe. Oh! Who goes there? Yeah. Uh, they tell me my name is Steve. Oh, right. 
Section 21. Keep your distance, son. I wouldn't want to have to blow your head off. God that bless. Makes two of us. So you're the amnesiac, huh? Just another draft dodging ploy, the way I see it. But at least you're not an alien. You see their ships every now and then. Aliens. Sometimes swell bags one. And I could probably find aliens if I got oh, past this guy somehow. Colonel Buster Monroe, commander of the Harvest Nuclear Missile Installation. Keeping America you know. safe from those who would die a flag red, white, and pink. You know. These are nuclear missiles? Yeah, you're just your local nuclear That's missile base. Every one of them ready to rain death on the Ruskies. All I gotta do is hit the button and blammo. Copyright. The price of vodka goes through the roof. Along with the vodka. Hell yeah. Well, I suppose Those you commie have, bastards. You know, Safeguards against accidents. What are you, a communist? Safeguards. Don't be such a weak sister. There are no safeguards. This is the fifties. Holy shit! I forgot I had stuff that I wanted to talk about tonight. Soul control of the. <laughs> That's right. Been in charge here since WW2. Oh God. I got my lower torso shot off in the war. Those penny wastes in Washington wanted to stick me behind a desk. To hell with that. They owed me. I left my legs in Dusseldorf. They <laughs> owed me. <laughs> of course, they told me. Oh, God. After the trauma of having to crawl from Germany to England, trailing my intestines behind me. God. I was too emotionally unstable to continue in the military. Yeah. That's why they gave me this nice cushy job. And put me in charge of the nuclear missiles. Oh. This total. While we talk to this guy, I wanted to tell. I've, I've been spending like the last two days watching the Marvel movies in chronological order because on Tuesday I'm going to go see Infinity War. Captain America, I watched that yesterday. Along with the first season of Agent Carter. Captain America is an okay movie. Um, Agent Carter, first season was okay. Jarvis and uh, Howard Stark are the only good things about that show, to be honest. That and the cripple. But other than that, you know, it's okay. It's a good thing I played a game like this, where I, because that was basically all I was going to talk about tonight. And I just blew through that in two minutes. Not even two minutes, I blew it through in one. Alright, the button. Uh, lower torso. Let's talk about nuclear holocaust. Aliens. That seems like a good one. Aliens. Aside from your commie bastard, your alien from another planet is the greatest threat to our democratic way of life. Duh. Did you know that 90% of sightings occur within the area of military installations? God bless. God bless America Hell, for I these military them. installations. I see their ships fly over. My bullets ping harmlessly off of their hulls. I suspect those things operate out of the lodge, but just try to convince anyone in Harvest of that. I'm seeing a little bit of slowdown. I tell you, son, a nuclear holocaust would be preferable to a takeover by big-headed aliens from Pluto. I agree. Lucky for us. I'll be making that call when the time comes. God bless. What is this slowdown? It's just getting slower and slower. Holy shit. Okay, it got really slow there. Let's talk about commie bastards. Those fucking Frankly, all reds. These questions are making me a little suspicious of you. Maybe you're one of those pink-blooded Americans. Whoa! Can you give me any reason why I shouldn't shoot you right now? You goddamn... You can't shoot me, I'm an American, I have rights. Rights, huh? Your average commie bastard is always only too ready to hide behind the Constitution. Oh my god. Real Americans waive their rights for the common good. Would you? I guess so. Wait. No, hell no. That's exactly what a communist would say. 
I refuse to surrender my rights. Spoken like a true pinko. No, you're the communist. <laughs> oh shit. Here we go. Here comes the fireworks. Alright. Oh no. Who will save the CGI children? Alright. That was it. That, uh... That right there was gonna be it for tonight. We have the game all done. Yep. Yeah, it's saved. So, um... You know what, I think that's gonna be it for tonight. Next time... We play Harvester, we'll go to the Lodge, and we'll start doing some... Side quests. That'll be good. Alright. I'll go anywhere, because I have a speech... ...to give. Alright. There we go. Ooh, that's loud as fuck. Okay. Let's turn that all the way down. Sorry for that, that was fucking loud. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the stream. I made this new transitional window. So, should make the transition less painful to nothingness. Okay. Got a little bit of background music. Let's turn that down even more. Actually, I want that to be barely audible. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the stream for tonight. Um, oh, you were saying something. I'm sorry. Um, the latest issue of Gigantic Ass. Uh, can't really get into the MCU like most of the Hulk comics I read, though. Yeah, the MCU is okay. Um, Iron Man is like the best movie, and it's all been downhill from there, if you ask me. But I figure if I'm gonna watch, you know, one of the biggest cinematic events in recent hit times, I may as well get prepared for it. Anyways, that's the stream for the night. Um, if you enjoyed, uh, I will suggest politely that you follow me. If you enjoyed my streams, if you enjoy my terrible personality and my non-commentary, um, you can expect within the next coming days a stream of Final Fantasy, a continuation, alongside a continuation of the Pokemon playthrough I'm doing. Um, both of which, Pokemon especially, I am particularly proud of thus far. It seems to be doing very well with people. Um, after that, We'll be doing Harvester and System Shock 2, like I said earlier. And that's about it. That's all I had for tonight. If you like the stream, you want to keep seeing it, you know, that's your decision. If you ever want to see a full stream, you can check out some of my links below to my YouTube channel and my full stream channel. This will go up tomorrow, probably. Um, and besides that... I hope you have a fantastic day. I really do. It's um, it's fun for me to do this, and I hope that I brought a little bit of enter entertainment to your evening or daytime, depending on where you are in this glorious non-communist nation. 